A spherical balloon is inflated with gas at the rate of 800 cubic centimeters per minute. How fast is the radius of the balloon increasing at the instant that the radius is 30 centimeters? So let's work it out. Solution. Well, first, the formula for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we have that. And let's read the question again and figure out what we're given and then figure out what we need. So we're, t we're told that the balloon is inflated with gas at the rate of 800 cubic centimeters per minute. So the key word there is cubic. This is telling us something about the rate of change of the volume. So we're given that dv dt is equal to 800. We know it's volume because it says cubic and we know it's a rate of change because it says rate. What do we need? The question says, how fast is the radius of the balloon increasing? So we need dr dt at the instant that the radius is 30 centimeters. So when r is equal to 30. So whenever you're doing a related rates problem, if you write down what you're given and what you need, usually you can figure it out. All right, so now we will create a relationship between dvdt and drdt by differentiating both sides of this equation. So dvdt is equal to, well, this is a constant, 4 thirds pi, so it just hangs out. You bring the 3 down, so you get 3 times 4 thirds pi r squared times the derivative of the inside, which is r, so dr dt. That's the chain rule, right? That's just the chain rule. So these cancel, so we get dv dt equals 4 pi r squared, and we know what well, we don't know. We still have dr dt. All right, so we don't know dr dt. We're looking for dr dt. We know dv dt. And so we just plug in 800 for dv dt. See, in different variations of this problem, you know, they'll, they'll give you dr dt and they'll have you find dv dt. In this case, they gave us dv dt and they're asking for dr dt. So when you work these out, just carefully write down what you need. Take the derivative and then plug in what you're given. In this case, we were given the 800, so it worked out nicely. Now we'll solve for dr dt. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll divide both sides by 4 pi r squared. So these cancel. So we're left with dr dt equals, well, 4 goes into 800 200 times. So we have 200 over pi r squared, right? Because 800 over 4 is equal to 200. All right, now we need to just plug in 30, it seems. So when r is 30, let me write it again. So dr dt, when r is equal to 30, that's going to be 200 over pi times 30 squared. So that'll be 200 over 30 squared is 900, so you get 200 over 900 pi. So you end up getting, let's see, divide by 100, so you get 2 over 9 pi. And this is the rate of change of the radius. The units in this problem were centimeters, so it's centimeters per, and I believe the time was minutes. Yep, it sure was, it's minutes. So per minute, so per minute. And that's the answer. Not a super tough problem. Just write down what you're given, write down what you need, and you got this. That's it.